паникеры, паникеры расстреливают, расстреливают на месте. На месте. My dear friends, I planned my trip to Volgograd because of the memorial complex called Mama of Kurgan, which is dedicated to the heroes of the Battle of Stalingrad, the heroes of one of the most terrible battles in the history of World War II. Mama of Kurgan is a hill in the central part of Volgograd, on which the memorial complex is located, or as it's also called the monument ensemble dedicated to the heroes of the Battle of Stalingrad. During the Battle of Stalingrad, it was here, on Mama of Kurgan, that the most Fierce battles took place, battles from the height, from which the city can be seen in full view. 200 days of hell, losses of the USSR, approximately 1 million 200,000 people. For many, Mama F. Kurgan is associated only with the famous statue The Motherland Calls. And not many people know that the statue Motherland Calls is one of several attractions located on Mama F. Kurgan. What else is included in this monument ensemble? This is the military memorial cemetery, hall of military glory, square of sorrow, square of heroes, wall ruins square to those who fought to death, alley of pyramidal poplars, and the introductory composition Memory of Generations, from which we begin our acquaintance with Mama F. Kurgan. When I say we, I mean myself, you and Yelena, the white historian. Yelena will help us get to know Mama F. Kurgan in detail. Hello, dear friends, I welcome you to the land of the hero city of Volgograd. We are on Mamaev Kurgan, and we start our journey from the entrance square where the monument Memory of Generation is located, a symbol of sorrow for those who did not return from the battle. This memorial complex took eight years to build, so long, because this place was soaked in blood. This place took a very long time to demonize. From 500 to 1200 fragments were collected from each square meter. At the entrance square we see 12 pedestals with the sacred land of hero cities and they are located in our city Volgograd. There is a myth that there are 200 steps on Mama F. Kurgan, which symbolize 200 days of the Battle of Stalingrad. I consulted both with Elena and with the Museum of Battle of Stalingrad, so this beautiful story has nothing to do with reality. From the entrance square, we are going up to an incredibly beautiful alley. This place is called the Alley of Pyramidal Poplars. According to Evgeny Vucic's idea, poplars were planted here that we could feel like in the ranks of soldiers. And please, pay attention to the height of the motherland cause. A little further on, we will see an illusion where it seems very small, and I will show you where. On July 17, 1942, the Germans officially entered our region. We did not expect an attack on Stalingrad, so the front was formed in a hurry. Commanders changed, orders did not reach the front. Some military units advanced on their own initiative, others retreated, and some of our soldiers in the threw down their weapons and fled from the battlefield to the city. But there was nothing to do in the city. The city also needed to be protected. Therefore, on July 28, 1942, Stalin, in order to streamline the retreat, gave the order. For sure, views of historians as well as military vary on this controversial order. The order said, Паникеры расстреливаются на месте. Воины, бросившие свои позиции без приказа, расстреливаются военно-полевым судом. Заград отряды вводятся в армии, полки и дивизии. What do barrier troops mean? This is the commander's personal reserve. Most often, the reserve was placed in the second echelon, where they were the most demoralized soldiers, or where it's expected the breakthrough of the opponent. Many people think that the barrier troops are soldiers who shoot guys who didn't want to go into battle. Look, we are walking through the territory of 62nd Army. The commander was Vasily Ivanovich Chikov. His barrier troops consisted of 650 people, but the army itself consisted of 54,000 people. 650 people pulled not straight for 40 kilometers to completely close the front line. 
The alley of pyramidal poplars led us to the square to those who fought to death, the central composition of which is the collective image of a soldier, the defender of the fatherland. Do you remember Yelena spoke about illusion? Look carefully at the greatness and size of the sculpture Motherland Calls. And now you will see a specially created illusion. If you stand next to the pool, then despite the impressive size of the motherland calls, it will hide behind our defender. Our soldiers stand waist deep in the ground. He stands to the death. And everyone asks me, why is he naked? This is the genius of the author of the project, who said, I don't dread the soldier because many types of military fought here. I don't want to offend anyone. Next we are going to the monument wall ruins. The walls of the ruins are the walls of the destroyed city, the walls of the destroyed Stalingrad, a stone book which is painted with real inscriptions left by the soldiers of the Soviet army and civilians. Let me remind you that on August 23rd, on a sunny day, when people ate ice cream, sat in a cafe, went to the cinema, for the first time in the world, at 4.18, the Germans carried out a terrible carpet bombing, and on the very first day, 70,000 people died, 150,000 were seriously wounded. Pay attention to the left side of the ruins. It's dedicated to the most difficult stage of the Battle of Stalingrad, the stage of the city's defense. We are looking at the left side of the ruin and see the sentry. It's made in human height to show you the scale of the monument. The central hero of the left wall is a soldier who stood to the death, his heart shattered with a fragment. On the right we see the Komsomol members who promised our grandfathers and fathers that they will not disgrace the glory of Russian weapons and will defend the city of Stalingrad. We see the Komsomol ticket. All bright, well-known feats were performed by children from 18 to 23 years old. We understand that the soldiers died. Guys always kept it on their chests. Here we see soldiers with blurry faces. There is nothing worse for the mother than to find out that her son is missing. We are near the right wall and see a soldier at the top. This is Panikaha, Ukrainian. His feet will never be forgotten by us. He was attacked by seven German tanks. He had two bottles of combination formula. He raised one bottle to destroy the tank, but the automatic fire broke the bottle and all the liquid split on him. From 800 to 1200 degrees, these are degrees of boiling warning of this liquid. Panikaha had a few seconds not to die and ran to the tank to throw the second bottle into the engine compartment. Yes, he did it. He burned with the German crew. The Germans stopped fighting. It shocked them. On the right wall, all the soldiers are in motion dynamics. This is Operation Uranus, which ended with the encirclement of the German army near Stalingrad. This is a soldier who shouts, I am from the 62nd Army. He is holding a flag. We will hoist this flag on the Reichstag and above its written. We see an image of a soldier. At first, it's difficult to understand what he is doing. This is the commander of the communications department, Kutila. The point is that the connection was broken and it had to be restored. Two of his subordinates could not do this. They were killed by German snipers. Kutilov went himself. The German crushed his right shoulder and left arm. He practically could not use his hands. He found the only way. He simply clamped the virus with his teeth. The current went on and he was killed. 
And these are episodes of the work of the rare. These are Soviet women, children, old people who worked from 16 to 18 hours without their selfless work would not have been able to overcome the battle of Stalingrad. Then we are going up to the square of heroes, in the center of which there is a pool. By the way, the water in all the pools of the memorial symbolizes the great Russian river Volga. We are on the square of heroes and see the inscription. Let's remember the phrase, where are the ones attacking them people? Will they be mortal? We will return to this phrase, but now pay attention to the opposite side. There are Six compositions. First composition, they stand to the death. They go to the last battle. This composition is dedicated to nurses, but when I approach it, I always want to talk about the role of women in the war. Our women were not only nurses, but also laundresses who lost their arms, because some of the guys gave their clothes to the laundry, forgetting to take grenades out of their pockets. I like to talk about girls' anti-aircraft gunners. They were only 18 to 20 years old. They didn't even have uniforms yet. They were very thin, so the uniform looked ridiculous on them. They were even called night guards. These girls stopped the tank corps for 1.5 days. They were anti-aircraft gunners, but they were not allowed to shoot at the planes. They all died. They had to save ammunition and hit on the tanks. The girls did their job. This is Anna Bischasnova. She is known for carrying 50 wounded soldiers from the battlefield. Let me remind you that in 1941 Zhukov issued an order. We don't leave the wounded on the battlefield, but the wounded must be carried out only with their weapons. Many tourists wonder why our boys look so old if they are only 18 to 20 years old. I answer, look at the photos of our boys before the war and what they became after a year of fighting. We are often called Russian quilted jackets, thinking that it's hurt us a lot. No, we are quilted jackets. We are the ones who defeated death. We are the ones who defeated the Nazi army. But they came not alone. They attacked us with the Austrians, with one Italian army, with two Romanian armies, with two Hungarian armies, with the Belgian Volunteer Legion. There were Estonian policemen, Ukrainian Bandera, and even Cossacks. Let me remind you that the Battle of Stalingrad was a fundamental turning point in the World War II, and that the Battle of Stalingrad was the most serious defeat of the German troops in their military history. We are standing at the Great Retaining Wall. There are Soviet commanders who developed and carried out the operation of the Battle of Stalingrad. There are our soldiers. To be honest, the sculptor did not want to depict German soldiers here, but he showed them on this wall and wrote, German soldiers wanted to see the Volga River, and the Red Army gave them this opportunity. Now they will look from this wall at the inaccessible left bank of the Volga. Now we are going to the Pantheon, the Hall of Military Glory. The Pantheon is the Temple of the Gods. For us, every soldier who died for the motherland is a saint. The entrance to the Hall of Military Glory is stylized at the entrance to the Blind Arch. At the entrance to the hall, we see a medal for the defense of Stalingrad, made of mosaics. My dear friends, we are in the Hall of Military Glory, in the center of which there is a composition, the hand of a fallen soldier. The eternal flame symbolizes the memory of greatest deeds. He is guarded by a guard of honor. There are 44 morning banners on the wall with the names of the dead Stalin brothers and soldiers. Please note that the work of the German composer Schumann, which is called Dreams, is always playing here. Thanks to this composition, we just showed everyone that we were at war not with German culture, but with fascism. Do you remember I asked you to remember the phrase Where are the ones attacking them people? Will they be mortal? In the Hall of Military Glory we can find the answer. Yes, we were mere mortals. And only few of us survived, but we all fulfilled of sacred, patriotic duty to our motherland.
friends, this is a very difficult step. You won't see a 19 degree step anywhere in the world. At the same time, the guys carry a Simonov carbine weighing 4 kilograms. We left the Hall of Military Glory and ended up in a square called the Square of Sorrow. This is a sculpture of a mother mourning her son. But before we go there, I want to show you that in the center of the square lies the Marshal of the USSR. He asked to be buried right here, next to his soldiers. Now he is with his soldiers, as he wanted. 34,500 dead soldiers are buried here. They lie in front of the statue. Two large sarcophagi were dug here. The first one below, the second behind the path where people walk. And back to the grieving mother. Why did the sculptor cover the soldier's face with a banner? Many Soviet women lost their sons in the war. This monument showed the fate of many Soviet women who lost their sons. Raising to the statue of Motherland Coles, you will see 39 gravestones. Please, don't hurry. I understand you want to get closer to the most famous sculpture in the world. But pay attention, that heroes are buried here. The first grave is the grave of the unknown soldier. If you see dates on the grave, it means that this person is buried under the slab. If there are no dates, this soldier could burn out in a tank. He could burn out when a plane was rammed. We are used to male exploits, but here lies a girl. This is a real grave. She was 18 years old. She was a nurse, but then she became a scout and participated in 14 intelligence operations. She hit a mine and died. We continue our way and I want you to stop at this grave. This is the real grave of the tank commander Malazom. The guy was 22 years old. On his tank was written, thunderstorm to fascism. He ran out of ammunition, he dropped off his entire crew and, taking advantage of the fact that his tank was heavy, crushed the German tanks until he was mortally wounded. This is the grave of the teacher of Russian language and literature, Panchishki. Claudia. She participated in sabotage work. Her group included 26 high school students from her school. Claudia was betrayed. Under torture, she did not betray a single student. She did not betray a single student. She was shot. How many heroes, how many inhuman stories. And now let's talk about the main attraction of our ensemble, the sculpture Motherland Calls. 85 meters tall with sword, weight 8000 tons, sword 33 meters, weight 14 tons. When the sculpture was first opened, it was the tallest non-religious statue on earth. 
For comparison, the Statue of Liberty in New York is 46 meters without a pedestal. The Statue of Christ is only 30 meters, but due to the fact that it stands at an altitude of 709 meters above the sea, it seems so huge. Let me remind you, our motherland coast is 85 meters in height. It stands under gravity on a small foundation. The statue is hollow inside. It stands on a slab of 2,000 tons. The foundation is 60 meters deep. In the evening you will see red lights on the sword. This is a guide for aircraft. The motherland coast is a collective image, but art historians say that Evgeny Vucicic was inspired by the Marseillaise. We climbed the main height of Russia. I want to focus on why this height was so strategic. From this height, our factories, the city center, the Transvolka region were clearly visible and open for shelling. But the worst thing for us was that the crossing through which our guys moved from the left bank to the right were totally destroyed. We went down and approached the temple. This is a modern temple, and it stands on the site where a small mass grave is located. 1,500 soldiers are buried here. There is one more place on Mamaev Kurgan, where guides most often do not take tourists. This is a military memorial cemetery. More than 2,000 soldiers who died in the Battle of Stalingrad are buried here. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. Topics of my channel everything about Russia, Russia through the eyes of foreigners. There are many interesting videos on my channel, welcome to watch them.